time is the most precious commodity we have. Like I laugh when people talk about time being money because that's just so wrong. Time is eternally greater than money because I can always go make more money. Always. I can always go make more money, but I can never make more time. I can go get a refund on that $2,000 item I, I bought yesterday, but I can never get a refund on the two hours I wasted yesterday. And that's why knowing these principles we're talking about right here is so important because when you know this, you will achieve greater, a greater return on your time. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another week. And this week we're going to be talking about time and getting a greater return on your time. Some people call this time management. And I think this is a very important topic to cover because many of you, you're probably like me. Here's how I, I earned this, uh, these, these principles that we're going to be talking about today. I earned them because that there was a time in my life where I was really bad at gaining a greater return on the time I have. I mean, I was really bad at it. I tried every technique, every strategy, uh, you know, bought the tools, got the planner, and none of that stuff worked. None of it worked. And you may have tried some of the same things. All these different techniques and strategies, of things we like to call time management, and none of it worked. It wasn't until I realized three key principles when it comes to gaining a greater return on your time. It wasn't until I learned these three key principles that I began to succeed at achieving greater return on my time. And that's why today I own a lot of my time because I got really good at this, these three key principles that I'm going to share with you today. And after you leave here, you will know how to gain a greater return on your time. All right. So three principles. I want you to think about these as like steps. Okay. Think of them as like three steps to achieving a greater return on your time. And why do we want to achieve a greater return on our time? It's because most of us don't want to waste the time that we have, right? So what are the three principles? Let's jump into these. And the first thing I want to tell you, the first key principle is that you need to know that you don't have, you don't have a time management issue. I hear a lot of people talk about time management. Let me come back here. Actually, I hear a lot of people talk about time management. When the truth is they don't have a time management issue. And you may be saying, well, Josh, I, I, I bought the planners like you and I could never, you know, get my day scheduled. Well, yeah, that's right. You don't have a time management problem. You have a time scheduling problem. <laughs> okay. Your problem is scheduling, not management. Management is the third It's number three. It's the third step out of three out of these three key principles. Most people's problem doesn't start at, it doesn't start at the third one. It starts at the first one. So your problem is not time management. I'm going to help you with that today. So feel free, feel, feel like you're freed from this, this idea that you have a time management problem. Most of us, we think that, but our problem is not really the management piece. Our problem, here's the first one here today. Our problem is the awareness piece. You don't have a time management problem. You have a time awareness problem. And what do I mean by time awareness? Well, time awareness is when we understand and have a sense of purpose for our, for our time. And I don't mean like, like your, your day to day time awareness is starting with the big picture. Starting with those big questions. Like, why am I here? What am I made of? My skills, strengths, talents, like how do I best serve? The tough questions that many of us don't want to face or ask. The first step in gaining a greater return on your time is first of all asking or understanding time awareness. When you understand time awareness, you grow a greater sense of urgency for your day, for your time. And in fact, I want to read something. I didn't know if I was going to do this today, but I, I, uh, I was thinking through a story that I share in, in the Mentality of Success book. And I think it's appropriate for today. I want to read this to y'all and I want y'all to listen to this. It says, it tells a story about a fisherman. And this fisherman was met by a corporate executive. So here we go. A corporate executive on a holiday in a small Greek seacoast village was strolling along the docks and taking in the local color. 
He complimented one fisherman on the quality of his catch. He asked, how long did it take you to get all those fish? Uh, not very long, answered the Greek. An hour or two. And so then the executive said, so why didn't you stay out here longer to catch more? Shrugging, the Greek explained that his catch was sufficient to meet his needs and those of his family. So here's what the executive says. He says, but what do you do with the rest of your time? The fisherman answered, he says, I sleep late, fish a little, play with my children, and take a nap with my wife. In the evening, I go to the village to see my friends. Uh, we dance a little, we play the bazooka, or bazooki, uh, and sing bazooka. <laughs> we play the bazooki, and we sing songs. I have a full life. Now listen to this executive. Tell me if you've ever heard someone like this before. The executive says, well, I have an MBA from Harvard and I'm sure I can help you. You should start by fishing longer every day. You'll catch extra fish that you can sell, and with the revenue, you can buy a bigger boat. With the extra money the larger boat will bring you, you can then buy a second boat and a third one, and so on, until you have an entire fleet of travelers. Instead of selling your fish to a middleman, you can then negotiate directly with the processing plants and maybe even open your own plant. You can ship fish to the markets all around the world, and in time, you can then move to New York City to direct your large enterprise. The fisherman asks, how long will that take? The executive answers, well, 20, you know, perhaps 25 years. And after that, the fisherman asks, well, when your business gets really big, you can sell stock and make millions. <laughs> millions, to, millions, really, the fisherman responds. And after that, the executive says, after that, you'll be able to retire, live in a small village near the coast, sleep late, play with your grandchildren, catch a few fish, and then take a nap with your wife. And after that, you'll be able to spend your evenings singing, dancing, and playing the bazooki with your friends. Time awareness. Who do you think in that story lacked time awareness? The executive leader, of course, right? But that's how so many of us think. When we think about getting the greatest return of our time, the first thing we think about is time management. And I'm gonna tell you, there are a lot of people who have full days, hour to hour, calendars all color coordinated, but on the inside, there's emptiness. And really, if we're not careful, our busy schedules will just become a, a welcomed, a welcomed distraction. Because the truth is, we have not gained time awareness. We don't even understand, we don't know, we don't feel a sense of purpose in our day to day. And so if I can just fill my calendar with a bunch of colors and a bunch of stickers and every hour, it looks good. It looks like I'm great at time management. But the truth is time, that, that sort of time management is insignificant without time awareness. The executive was trying to get the, trying to convince the fisherman to go this long route just to get right back to what he already has. He already knew what a full life was. And this is something I, I went, I experienced before as well, where I thought, you know, if I can get all this money, my life will be full. And sometimes, you know, since I like wealth and building wealth, sometimes I'll go to talk to friends about building wealth and I'll get all excited like that executive, not realizing that that might not be what, what means a full life to them. And full meaning like the root word of fulfillment, fulfilling. Our lives don't always have to look the same. But if you want to get a greater return on your time, you need to have time awareness. You need to understand purpose. What, what is the purpose? Why are you here? It's understanding that my life has value. And that value is not just meant for myself. That value is meant to serve. I was working with a client recently and, and we were talking about time management. And it was around the context of one of their workers was just showing up late, rolling out of bed late. And, and, I, and I'm here to tell you, when you are experiencing that kind of life, because I have too. I've, I've experienced seasons in my life where I didn't roll out of bed till like 12 p.m. 12 noon probably is the best way to say that. 
But when I go back and I think about those years, it's because I had no time awareness. I was not looking forward to the hours ahead of me. When you have time awareness, your sense of urgency begins to pick up because you understand your purpose. You understand the value that you have been, that, that God has given you to give out to this world. And you wake up with a sense of urgency to get out and do just that. So I hope I've convinced you that most people, including yourself, don't have a time management problem. Your problem is time awareness. That's step number one. That's principle number one. Principle number two is, well, this pen is tripping today. Let's see here. For those of you who are listening, we're writing these out. Principle number two, I guess it's going to be in a, a, less, a lesser bold, is time authority. Time authority. What do I mean by time authority? Well, time authority, think of it this way. It's taking authority over your time. Taking authority over your time. When you understand the purpose, time awareness, the value of your time, right? You understand that it's, more, it's worth more than money. I laugh. Why? Time is your most precious, most precious commodity. And that's why I laugh when people talk about time being money. No, time is eternally greater than money. Because I can, I, can I can get a refund on the money. I can go out and make more money, but I can never make more time. I can never get a refund on those two hours I wasted yesterday on TikTok. Nothing wrong with TikTok, but, but hopefully you get my point. Well, I shouldn't say nothing wrong with TikTok. There probably are a few things, but we won't go there today, all right? <laughs> but my point is, Time authority. It's understanding first. You have to. You can't get to the authority piece until you accomplish the awareness piece. Once you have the awareness piece, you can get to the authority piece. And you know what will happen when you do that? You will stop wasting time. When you realize how valuable you are, how valuable your contribution to this world is, no matter how big or small you think it is, it's, it's valuable. When you realize that your life has purpose, you begin to take greater authority over your time. And I, and I don't mean this word authority lightly. Let me see if I can break this down with, without going too deep. But think of it this way. In our physical like body, the greatest, like the level of authority within our body is our head. Like anatomically, we are designed to where at the top of our body is the headquarters. We're designed that way specifically because there is where our, our mind lives, it's where our brain sits. And do you know that your brain will form its shapes into whatever you tell it to form into, whatever you shape and form it into? Because our brains, they're known as something that's called malle malleable. It's a hard word to say, malleable. Meaning, I'll give you an example. If you've ever seen like someone take one of those like hot irons, they take like a, a piece of uh, steel, like the steel is like burning at the tip or something, and they take an, a, a hammer and they begin to smash it down on top of the steel. What they're doing is, because that steel has become malleable, they can now shape it into whatever shape they want, pretty much, without it breaking. And our brains are the same way. We can shape our brains into whatever we desire without it breaking. So back to this time authority piece. We build our mentalities, our outlook on life. We are the, the person holding that hammer and our mentality is that hot piece of steel and we get to form it into whatever we desire. And so when it comes to your time, I want you to think about your time as that hot piece of steel. And, and when you take authority over it, you are the hammer saying, no, we're not going to pay attention to that distraction today because I understand the value and purpose of my time. No, I know I got a little fatigued this week, but because I understand the purpose and value of my time, guess what? I got to take authority, get out of this funk and get back to it. And that point, you also will say, hey, you know what? I can't be inactive. I can't waste this time because I understand the purpose and value of my time. So guess what you do more of? You take more authority. There's some of you that you need to take more authority over your time. Now, of course, that won't happen until you do step number one, principle number one, 
But once you get principle number one out the way, now you can you you will have less energy for the distractions. You will have less energy for the drama. You will have less energy for that friend group that has nothing to your life. Because you will have taken full, you know, a full grip, that hammer of authority, and you will begin to shape your time because you are now, you have now shaped your mind, your mind, your outlook, your mentality regarding your time has changed. These are the two critical steps when it comes to getting a greater return on your time. Most people want to start at the, the last one though. And let's wrap this up. The last one here, here's the last principle. When it comes to gaining, we're talking about gaining a greater return on your time. The last principle here, I kind of like that awareness is bolded now. That's, that's the most important one. The last one here is time administration. And I just kept this one because I like the A's and I would, I didn't want to put management there. I had A's going. So administration, time administration. This is where a lot of us start. This is where the, we start to look at the habits and the disciplines and the techniques and strategies. But we try to, most of us, if you're like me, if you've struggled like I have over, over time with, with getting a greater return out of your time, you will jump right into the administration piece. And you'll go buy that planner hoping that it will be the solution. The tool will be the solution. And you'll learn within 14 to 21 days that it's not the solution, even though you started off strong. But it's not the solution because you haven't taken step one and two, principle one and two of awareness and authority. Once you take those two steps, then you can become better at the management piece, at the administration piece. I track my days by the hour now, but I didn't start there. I had to start at awareness first. Then I had to take that awareness and turn it into authority. And I had to get rid of some distractions. I had to realize you ain't, I'm not going to be able to spend hours on Bleacher Report, getting sucked into the vortex of, of TikTok, getting caught up in every whim of drama, every whim, whim of news and, and bad news at that or this distraction over here. And some of these things seem like good things, but they're robbing your time. They're robbing your authority. And today I want you to be able to take back that authority. Maybe you've been at your job and you felt like, you know, you felt stuck. And this caused you to underperform, which I think is, is, is very detrimental. Hopefully this will help you. Where's the, what level of awareness? What's your value there? When you understand who you are, what you're made of, and how you best serve, you look at everything differently. You look at work differently. I worked in a job that I grew to, to, at, in certain seasons to dislike, but what got me through those seasons, I understood. I had an awareness of my time. This ain't going to be like this all, all the time. I'm not going to stay here. So what can I get out of this while I'm here? That's a benefit of time awareness. That's a benefit of time authority. And guess what? I grew in that job. I got promoted time and time again. But if I would have just checked out and not shown up and underperformed and somehow got fired because I didn't have the awareness or the authority, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And for some of you, this is going to be a game changer. This is going to transform the way you look at, quote, I'm doing quotes for those of you listening, you look at time management, it's going to change the game. And you're going to focus your attention on those first two principles of time awareness, time authority, and then you can administer, which is time management. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, make sure you like, subscribe, share this with someone that maybe, maybe they think their problem is time management as well. We can all learn and grow on this together. All right. So I'm going to get on out of here. I think I've overextended my time today, but I hope again, this was valuable to you. And remember, I'm going to be right back here, similar to the same time, but the same place for sure next week, reminding you that success is your destiny. I'll see you on the next one.